uh, I'm Ron Weiss, and I'm glad to see all of you here. We're, we're all here to save lives. The, uh, the tr tragic death of three children points out that you don't have to live here to be involved in a fatal crash on 210. But the people who live here, like me, and think 210 is our, uh, oh, 210 is our main street, take all the fatalities on Indian Head Highway very personally. The community of people who live around 210 have uniquely banded together, working with our government to reduce the risk of driving on what AAA says is the deadliest highway in the region. And we've made significant progress, but the effort must continue until we no longer have to come together like this to mourn additional deaths. Police are out in force. The state highway is changing the first of several intersections into interchanges and making near-term improvements to lighting and signs. Our legislators have uh, approved the first speed camera, has been mentioned on a high-speed highway that's not in a work zone or speed zone. Our community is increasingly aware of the risks of irresponsible driving. We even have our middle school students involved in getting us to drive safely. But as meant, has been mentioned, we need to do more and we need to do it faster. An already overburdened highway will get even more overburdened as the population in areas served by 210 dramatically increases. But there are no plan, there's no plan to increase 210 capa capacity by adding lanes. The current plan will improve uh, failing road conditions but only to approaching unstable flow conditions. There's not even funding for the remaining intersection upgrades. And it takes many years from the time we, we find funding until we see actual construction. The plan that we have removes traffic signals and increases the length of straightaways without signals. Speeding drivers will therefore be unimpeded by red lights. There's no single magic bullet to make Indian Head Highway safe, but I know that saving lives on 210 takes even more than construction and enforcement. It takes changing behavior. My behavior, your behavior. Our cars aren't failing. The highway doesn't crash into us. The police don't drive our cars. The law, laws can't stop us from doing dumb things. We need to be better drivers. It's going to take a long time for us to change, but with a great deal of effort over a generation, we've changed the behavior and decreased smoking and increased seatbelt use. It can be done. Behavior can be changed. We must make this same kind of sustained effort to save our children's lives. Thank you.